this is Krista with Moon Glow Art Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple art journal using a shirt box that you probably have left over from the holidays. You're just going to need a couple supplies which I already listed in the intro. Regular shirt box. I think this is a t-shirt size. I'm not totally 100% sure but it doesn't really matter what size box you have. It's how you cut it to fit your pages. So I just opened it up and then I took my papers that I also listed in these supplies and I just kind of placed them in there and I take my ruler wherever it ran off to and I just marked a line all the way around each edge. Not exact, um, but you get the idea. So when you take your papers off you're going to be left with this grid and it'll show you where to cut. You're going to want to cut on all the outside lines. I already have one cut here and you can see that I have the little border left. Next you're going to want to take and poke four holes in. I have one there, one there, one there, and there. Do not poke any extra holes because we're going to be doing a pamphlet stitch very easy and it'll keep your pages together just fine. So poke holes in your shirt box or substrate and then you're going to want to line up your papers the way you want just a variety of whatever you want and I have a pocket page here that I've made from a decorative shopping bag which on my next video I'm going to show you how to make so be sure to stay tuned for that. As soon as you poke the holes out using an awl or a beading reamer, you're going to line them up. And this is where you take your thread or string, make it so it's about, probably about the uh, size of a yardstick, fold it in half, and I just took a paper clip and put it right around the string so that my middle section is going to stay together. Turn the book so that it's closed and you're going to use only half the string here. That's why it's important to keep it marked. So what we're going to do is we're going to be going in the top two holes, going to your middle of your page, and going out the center two holes. So I'm going to push pause here and just go ahead and do that. So here is the center of my book. I've gone in this side and out this side. And again, here is the center of my string. So I'm going to take the needle totally off and I'm going to put it on the opposite side now. Remember, keep the paper clip in the middle. So I have fed my needle open up my pages. I'm going to again go in the top hole. If I can find my hole here. And from there we're going to go into the very center hole and actually the last one that should be there that doesn't have any string in it. This is a little bit tricky. You really have to kind of tug that out of there. But now you can take your needle totally off. Give it a little tug. Make sure it's in the middle of the book is nice and tight. Fold it over. And now if you notice, if you pull the spine or binding out a little bit, this string is on top of that string. And this one is going to be underneath. Now you can do it either way, but I find that if you tie two knots, 
right over the middle string. It'll kind of keep the middle string together too. Trim off your excess wherever you like. You can have it really short or really long. And there you go. You have a nice decorative journal that you made yourself. Optional. I have a little edge puncher just to kind of make it like a mole skill journal. Mole skin. I just kind of round the corners. Gives it a more professional finish. And there you have it. Here's another example. This time I spray painted the cover, added all sorts of pages, even a junk mail envelope. Kind of neat. The larger version, just like we just made. This was actually my sample copy. All right, there you go. I hope you had fun, you learned something, and if you liked the video, click like, and give me a little thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, that's even better. So with just a few simple things you have laying around your house, you can make a beautiful journal to fill with whatever you like. Also make a great gift and they're fun to just have in your purse as a small travel journal or sketchbook for when the creative ideas strike you. So until next time, keep on creating and I can't wait for you to art along with me next time. Bye.